Hi, the Brad Lloyd. Welcome to my channel, all about building a smart home with Apple HomeKit. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Eve window and door sensor. Huge thank you to Eve for sending me this product for my honest review. I am a fan of Eve. I love that they make products that are specifically designed for Apple HomeKit. I have an existing window and door sensor that I've had now for a couple of years and it works really well. I also have a couple of their motion sensors, which I also really like, and they're very helpful for creating home automations. I'm excited to try out this version of the Eve window and door sensor because this comes with thread support. That means I should be able to expect better reliability, faster response time, all without sacrificing battery power. At the end of the video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with this new thread-enabled version compared to my existing Bluetooth version to see if I can really tell a difference. Now, to take advantage of thread, you will need a HomePod mini, but if you don't have one, don't worry, it will still work with Bluetooth. If you already have an Eve window and door sensor, then it may already be thread compatible. Eve released a firmware update for both their window and door sensor as well as for their Eve Energy that provides thread support. My current window and door sensor was a second generation model, so unfortunately it's not compatible with this update, but I will put a link in the description so you can check your model to see if it supports thread. Eve will also be rolling out a firmware update later this year that's going to provide thread support to compatible Eve Aqua and Eve Thermo devices. So some exciting things happening from Eve later this year. So let's talk about some of the uses for a window and door sensor to see how this can help you in your smart home. Well, like the description, this can be used on any window and door. So you can see, did I remember to close that window? Or when was the last time that door was opened? You can also use it to count the number of times something was opened or closed through the Eve app, which is really user friendly. You could also have it set up so that if a window is open, then your AC automatically turns off, which is gonna be really great for these spring and summer months ahead. A few other practical uses here would be setting a scene or turning lights on when a door is open. So you could open your door, the lights come on, maybe your HomePod comes on as well. Okay guys, that was a little stressful, but don't worry, the burglar has been apprehended and everybody is safe. Luckily, I was able to scare the burglar away by using this Siri shortcut that flashed my HomeKit lights and played an alarm on my HomePod. Now, I actually got this idea from one of Shane Watley's previous videos, so if it's something that you're interested in, I will link his video in the description below so you can check it out. If you already have a window and door sensor in your home, then let me know in the comments how you are using it. That way we can all learn from each other and share some new ideas. The possibilities are endless when it comes to window and door sensors. I really think I need to get more of these in my home. You can also use these sensors for things like medicine cabinets or liquor cabinets. And I've also heard of people using these things for pet food containers. So you can remember the last time you fed your dog. Let me show you how I'm currently using my existing window and door sensor. This is my kitchen pantry and here's where I have my Eve window and door sensor installed. I also have two Philips Hue colored lights installed here as well. The door sensor allows me to automatically turn my lights on and off when the doors opened and closed, which is super convenient. This can also be accomplished by using a smart switch instead of smart lights, but I've taken it a step further in my pantry. I love the look of the filtered light that shines through the obscured glass on this door. So I've set it up so the light comes on turquoise around sunset. If I open the door, it changes to white so I can easily find what I'm looking for. Then it returns to turquoise once the door is closed again. I can also change this automation based on the season. So at Christmas, I can complement my decorations with red and green lighting or orange lighting at Halloween. I can also manually change this to whatever color I wanted at the moment. However, it will change back to turquoise once the door has been opened and closed, unless I update my entire automation. So you can see this is pretty simple, but it's a fun way to use these sensors. And I have to say that I love the ambiance that it adds to my kitchen lighting, especially in the evenings. 
As you can see there, my existing Eve window and door sensor that uses Bluetooth is actually fairly quick and quite responsive. It's also pretty close to my home hub, so I'm excited to get this new one out of the box and do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna end up using this on my second floor, which is further from my home hub, so I'll be interested to see if I can tell a difference. Okay, let's get this out of the box. Okay, so this comes with a nice little cover and uh, I've got a little instruction book booklet. The sensor is actually two pieces. There's a larger piece and then um, a smaller piece. So this will usually go around the door on the door jam and this smaller piece will actually go on the door itself. Uh, there's a few spacers in here as well. So just depending on your setup, it might be something that you need. Uh, there's a little battery as well. Uh, my existing unit lasted about 14, 15 months, I think, before I had to replace it. I just got to replace it on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. There's a backing, uh, a backing with an adhesive, and you can just peel that off when you're ready. And that's about it. So let's get this set up. Installation is super simple, especially if you've ever set up any other HomeKit accessories really, really easy to do. So I could either do it through the Home app or I could do it through the Eve app. And since I already have the Eve app installed, I'm just gonna go ahead and start there. Okay, so I can go under settings and then accessories. And then here I can just click add. I'm gonna scan my QR code that I have and it's recognizing it as a sensor. So I'm gonna say add to home. Okay, location. So I'm gonna put this, this is gonna end up going in my daughter's uh, bedroom. So I'm gonna put it in Ashlyn's room and I'll just keep it Eve window and door for now. I can change that later. And we will display it as uh, a contact center for now. Again, that's totally up to you and just how you want it. So what I always like to do after I install a new accessory is just make sure that I have the latest firmware version Especially in this case, this probably isn't thread compatible until I get that firmware update. So I'm gonna make sure that I do that first. Update firmware. Okay, we're just gonna let that firmware update finish and then I'm gonna take this upstairs and we're gonna compare this thread enabled sensor with my existing Bluetooth sensor. Let's see if we can notice a difference. I'm in my daughter's bedroom. I'm just gonna do a comparison between these two existing sensors. The new thread enabled sensor is on the left and on the right of your screen is my existing Bluetooth version that I removed from the pantry and put here on the dresser just for the time being. Now I will say these things do not remove easily and I did tear a little bit of paint when I tried to remove it. However, you can just stick it back together with some command strips if you have them. I've attached both of these sensors on the dresser using just painter's tape, so it's definitely not a permanent solution, but for the purpose of this demonstration, it's gonna work just fine and won't do any damage. I have a simple automation set up with each of these sensors so that the respective light will turn on and off as the dresser opens and closes. So let's just compare and see if we can notice a difference. All right, wait for it. Okay, there, there we go. Huge difference between the two of them, uh, the thread versus the Bluetooth. So let's just try this again. And closed. Open. And closed. There you go, so you can see that the thread enabled version is much faster. Of course, you wanna make sure that you have good thread support wherever you're placing the sensor. 
Okay, so I'm actually in my daughter's closet right now, so I apologize if there's a little bit of an echo, but the two pieces that are going to attach together, uh, the smaller and a larger piece, and uh, these are the sensor contacts. So they really, they don't have to be touching, they just need to be as close together as possible to be able to sense whether the doors are open or closed. This is gonna end up going uh, on here, on the larger part of the door. Uh, and then the smaller sensor piece is going to go sort of just right below it. So I'm actually going to put the small piece on first because I don't want to put the larger piece on and then have it not fit and the door not be able to close. So there is a, just an a, a adhesive that you can peel off. I'm going to try and set it not too... Uh, uh, I'm not going to press it in too much just in case I do need to move it. Same with this uh, larger piece, just an adhesive here that I can just peel off. Okay, and you can see, hopefully you can see there's a red indicator button when it's triggered. So right now it's open, open, and closed. And wow, that is fast. I think this is a pretty good setup, so I'm just going to going to press it so it's firmly in place. Now this is installed we can just go ahead and set up the automation. Uh, really simple you could do it in either the Eve app or the home app. Um, I just try and keep it as simple as possible so I'm going to do it in the home app today. Okay so let's set up the automation. It's actually going to be super simple. It's going to be two automations. One is going to be when this door is opened the closet lights turn on. Second automation is gonna be when the doors close, the lights are going to turn off. So let's get that started. Uh, this is very simple automation, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. I am actually gonna do it uh, right from the sensor itself, because why not? So here I can see the status it's showing is opened, and then I'm just gonna click automation. So I'm gonna start with when it opens. Um, I want it, uh, the time of the day is going to be the same. Now, if you had a dimmer switch installed and maybe you wanted the lights to come on at only 50% brightness between 10 o'clock and six o'clock or something like that, then you could certainly do that. This is just an on and off switch, so it's gonna be even easier. So just when it opens, click next, and I'm not gonna use a scene, I'm just going to select closet and it's going to turn on okay turn off never so it's just going to stay on now um, could actually turn that off and actually that's not uh, a bad idea i don't think the light is ever going to stay on intentionally for more than an hour so i'm just going to select on that's actually a good idea Okay, we'll just let that update. Okay, you can see that automation here. When Eve, door and window opens, turn on Ashlyn's room closets. Okay, and then turn off after one hour. So the next automation is going to be when it closes, which it's already selected on. So I'm just going to hit next and I'm gonna find Ashlyn's room and here's her closet. And that is gonna turn off Okay, hit done and just give it a minute and then we can test it out. That should be set up, so let's see if it's actually working as intended. So the light is on right now and let's just close it. Now from her bedroom, it looks like it turned off, but of course it's hard to see. Let's just open it and see if it turns on. There we go. That's perfect. Closed. open hello open okay so I'm actually running into a bit of an issue here and I think it may be because of the turn off after one hour option that I selected so I'm gonna go and edit that and see if that makes a difference okay so the light is off let's open the door light is on. There was a little bit of a delay there, um, but 
but not too bad. So let's close it. And open. That was pretty much instant that time. Close. And open. All right, there we go. So it was clearly that uh, the turn off after one hour that seemed to be causing a bit of an issue. It seems like it's ignoring the open and close for the duration of that hour, perhaps. So I've got that turned off, not a big deal. I didn't intend on using that uh, anyway, but there are other things that you can do, uh, automations that you can set up at certain times to make sure that the lights do turn off occasionally. I have a hue dimmer switch that I use to turn off the main lights in this room and when I turn them off, I've also got it set up so it turns the closet off as well. So most times that's gonna do the trick uh, just in case my daughter forgets to close her closet door. Awesome, love it. There you go. I hope you found this video helpful. You can really see the difference that the thread enabled sensor had compared to the Bluetooth when it was further away from the home hub. Now, if you have a first or second generation, you can add an Eve Extend that will allow you to move it further away from your home hub. So that is certainly an option for you. The Eve window and door retails for about $60 Canadian and $40 US. I will include some affiliate links in the description below. So if you're interested in picking up one of these products and you wanna use one of those links, then it will definitely help the channel out. Like I said at the top, Eve provided this product to me free to try, so really a thank you to them. This was my 100% honest review. I am just a small channel, just getting started, and I'm having a lot of fun talking about HomeKit and home automation, so thank you for your support. And if you did like this video, then I do encourage you to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you can find more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.